हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई चैनल इंजीनियर्स अकेडमी डू हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन इफ यू हैवन डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्राम हिबले डायनामिक्स एंड द प्रॉब्लम से इज दैट द कार स्टार्ट फ्राम रेस्ट एट एस इक्व टू जीरो एंड इज सब्जेक्टेड टू एन एक्सेलरेशन शोन बाई द ए एस ग्राफ ड्रा द वी एस ग्राफ एंड डिटर्मिन टाइम नीड टू ट्रेवल टू हंड्रेड फीट so we are given the acceleration of this car in terms of s and we have to draw the vs graph and we have to find the time when it travels 200 feet distance now as we are given acceleration as a function of time so we know that uh, ads is equal to v dv we know that ads is equal to v dv so now since we want to find the velocity as a function of s so we have to write this equation right so now we know the acceleration from for s greater than equal to 0 and less than equal to 300 i am talking about this part of the motion right so for t equals to uh, for s equals to 0 until s equals to 300 feet the acceleration is 12 feet per second so the acceleration is constant right so we can write the acceleration is 12 feet per second square so now if i put this acceleration in this equation or uh, we can say that we can write this equation as v dv equals to a ds so now we can write if i substitute this a value in this equation so we can write that v dv is equal to 12 ds so now we want to find the velocity as a function of time uh, the velocity as a function of s so we have to integrate this. so we have to integrate both side of the equation and initially it is said that when the car starts from rest at s equals to 0 so when s is equal to 0 the velocity is equal to 0 so we have to integrate this from 0 to s and this is from 0 to v so now the integration of this will be v squared divided by 2 and from 0 to v will give us v squared divided by 2 if we put these limits and this will be 12s and if we put uh, the limit so we will get 12s now from this we can write that v square is equal to we need to multiply both side of the equation by 2 so we will have v square equals to 24s and now if i take square root on both side of the equation so we can write that v square is under the square root 24s and if we find the uh, square root 24 so this gives us 2 square root 6 so let, let me write it as uh, we can say that this is a uh, 4.89 so we can write that this is v is equal to 4.898 square root s so for the first part of the travel from s equals to 0 until s equals to 300 the velocity as a function of s can be written like this or we can say that this is v equals to 4.898 s to the power 1 divided by 2 so now let's plot this graph so this is this is velocity in feet per second and this is the as in feet so now the velocity at s equals to 0 is 0 and if we put s equals to 300 so that is 4.8 or we can say let's say square root 24 times 300 so that will give us the the velocity at s equals to uh, 300 so the velocity the velocity value at 300 feet is 84.85 feet per second so now let's say that this uh, one box represent uh, 50 feet per second this is 100 and 84.85 will be somewhere here right so at at s equals to 0 the velocity is 0 and when s is equal to 300 so let's say this one box is 100 so 200 300 so somewhere here is 300 feet 
So at s equals to 300, the velocity is 84.85. So that point is somewhere here. It's a quadratic equation and the power is 1 divided by 2. So we can plot this graph is and the and this coefficient of this s to the power 1 divided by this is positive so this means that this must be concave up so this is concave up and it must go like this and somewhere here is 84.85 feet per second now when s is for the for this part of the motion when s is greater than equal to 300 and less than equal to 450 now the acceleration is given as a function of s we are given this so now again we need to substitute acceleration equation in this equation so we can write that v dv is equal to minus 0.04 s plus 24 into ds this is that acceleration equation so now we need to integrate this particular equation so now we need to integrate this from s equals to 300 until s and then when uh, s is equal to 300 the velocity is 84.85 so this will be 84.85 to v so now if we integrate this so again this will give me uh, v squared divided by 2 on the left hand side and this will be 84.85 to v and this will be now the integration of the right hand side will be minus 0.04 s squared divided by 2 plus 24 s and this is from 300 to s and now 0.04 divided by 2 this will give us 0.02 so let me write it as uh, 0.02 s squared so now if we put these limits so the right hand side of the the left hand side of the equation is v squared divided by 2 minus 84.85 square divided by 2 and this is equal to minus 0 0.02 and that is s square plus 24 s and minus we will put 300 the lower limit that is minus 0 0.02 into 300 square plus 24 into 300 so this constant if we put 300 so this whole constant this gives us minus 5400 so let me write this constant is minus 5400 this is minus 5400 and this is 84.85 square divided by 2 this is 3600 so on the other side of the equation it will become positive so let me uh, write that this is plus 84.85 square divided by 2 so this will cancel out and this is uh, this is 3600 so let me write this is this is plus 3600 so minus uh, 5400 plus 3600 this gives us 1800 so that is minus 1800 this is minus 1800 and now we need to multiply both sides of equation by 2 so we will multiply both sides of equation by 2 so this will cancel out and we can write that v square will be equal to so we need to multiply each coefficient by 2 so now this is 0 0.04 s square plus 48 s and minus 3600 so now we we need to take the square root on both sides of equation so this will cancel out and we can write that v is minus 0.04 s square plus 48 s minus 3600 under the square root or we can write that this is to the power 1 divided by 2 so now we want to find uh, the velocity at 450 feet so now if we put uh, s equals to 450 so this will be uh, square root minus 0 0.04 into 450 uh, square plus 48 into four, uh, 450 minus 3600 so this gives us 19 99.49 feet per second 
So now at at s equals to 450, this is this is 300, this is 400, and this is 500. So 450 is somewhere here, and that value is 99.49. So 99 is very close somewhere here. So we cannot exactly show that graph. So we need to scale up this graph. So in order to increase the scale, let's consider that uh, this one box is let's say 25. So if this is 25, then this is 50, this is 75, and this is 100. So now when uh, S is equal to 0, V is equal to 0, and when uh, S is equal to 300, it is 84.85. So 84.85 is uh, will be somewhere here. So then we have to plot the graph like this. And then when uh, s is equal to 450, the value is 99.49. Uh, so that value is somewhere here. This there will be this will be somewhere 99. Somewhere. So the graph will be will shape like this. So this is the the VS graph. This is the VS graph for this particular problem. And in the problem, it is said that uh, find the the time needed to travel 200 feet. So 200 feet distance is between 0 to 300. So we can find that uh, time needed for this particular interval that is for s equals to 0 and to 300. So we have the velocity the velocity as a function of s. So we, from this we can write that uh, for this particular interval the acceleration is constant. So we can write that for this particular interval the acceleration is equal to 12. And now if, if you want to find the time, we have to find the velocity as a function of time. So we will find the velocity at 200 feet using this equation. And then we will have the velocity as a function of time. So from that we will be able to find the time required to at that particular instant. So now this is acceleration. So we can write that acceleration is dv by dt equals to 12. And from this we can write that dv is equal to 12 dt. And now if we integrate both sides of equation, so again this will be from uh, 0 to t and this will be from 0 to v since the car starts from there. So this is from 0 to v. So this will give us v equals to 12t and similarly if I, if I put s equals to uh, 200 in this equation, so that will be square root 24 into 200. So this is 69.28. So the velocity we can write that the velocity at 200 is 69.28 feet per second and now from this equation we know the velocity at s equals to 200 so t will be equal to v divided by 12 so now the velocity is known that is 69.28 so let's divide this answer by 12 so this is 5.77 so t equals to 5.77 seconds so the car travels uh, 200 feet distance in time interval of 5.77 seconds so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning